what's good everybody welcome back to veteran bassin today we are in a whole new area code we're down here in uh brunswick georgia we're down here in brunswick georgia and we're going to see what the bassin is uh like out here we got a nice little pond let me show you that real quick like we got a nice little pond that that looks a little bit juicy we got a little it's a little windy so we're gonna start out with a little moving bait here and we see what we can get. Now I heard that there are nice fish in here. Let's get started. Let's go. And forgive the wind in advance. We're gonna start out here by this bridge. Now, there are certain areas out here that you can fish and certain areas that you can't. But we're gonna start out here by the bridge in this pocket. Let me lock my door. And uh, I only got a couple of hours to fish. Uh, for some reason, you know, there are, for some reason they are doing something, I don't know. But, got a couple of hours to fish. I'm bringing our moving bait bites and we're gonna see what we can get. And we're gonna start out right here. And we're going to go with a chatterbait because I do not know what is actually in here. Have no clue. I was told they catch fish, but I have no clue what's in here. So let's get it. I should have bought me some, uh, boots so that I can get down a little closer. Good grass. This grass is bad. This grass, <laughs> this grass will catch you and it holds on. Grass is sticking me in the leg. Oh. And I might have to slow it down. I don't know yet. Oh my word, this water is clear, clear. <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be this clear, but this water is clear and grassy. So, I didn't get a chance to see it. And forgive the wind again, I didn't get a chance to see the water from where I was at, but this water is clear. And I'm talking about like coastal areas. But uh, this is easily four to six feet of visibility. So we're gonna change up tactics and we're gonna move over to the swim bait because um, yeah, this is, this is some clear stuff here. Whoops, rigged you the wrong way. Oh, I got you looking kind of janky in the water. Hold on. They gotta be somewhere. I mean, look how clear that is. I mean, that is just, uh, a little fish is coming to expect it. <laughs> yeah, this is just some ultra clear stuff right here. Now, I'm used to fishing stuff that's about, you know, one to two feet of visibility. But, and I have fished a small pond that was clear like that, but I've never fished a deep pond that's this clear. I have never done that. This is a nice area out here though. I, I say that. It's a very nice area. I might have to slow down, even though the wind is blowing like crazy. It's a shame. 
you can't get actually close closer to the water's edge uh, i probably could get down in there but you know i'm not trying to run into any of those slithery dudes stay a little bit away and i'm talking about this grass catches on everything good grief so my first time fishing in brunswick what do i think of it eh, so far you know i'm not like impressed but since i'm on a short window and it's very windy here in brunswick good gosh it's very windy <laughs> he's the he's the guy that told me about uh being able to fish out here he said there's nice fish out here but we're going we, we're working on it to see but he got kayaking with the family there's a beach area over there um Yeah. All right. Whew. I think I'm. I think I'll walk it all the way down. I'm not. I'm not going to fish all the way back. All right. So he said that there's a more protected pocket on this back island. So we're going to make our way back there. Although, there is a nice little pocket right here to fish also with a little bit of shade line and like a, uh, and some lily pads. Let me, okay, that this is looking a little too good for me not to fish it. Uh, it's looking a little too good. But since I'm um, short on time, I do have to kind of fish it fast quick quick and fast however you want to call it you see there's a nice little point over there you know what i'm saying and that back island i don't know where he's talking about it unless he's talking about way back that way but we shall see you gotta hold a rod tip up high just to get it through this stuff And I know that sun is getting hot. Uh, well, you know what? I do need to get used to this because if I'm trying to do a little bit of tournament, tournament fishing, then I got to be able to fish under pressure and time. So it's a good way to get this started. And I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, casting in the wind. I forgot about that. I believe I know what I need to be using considering the fact that it's so clear out here. I believe I know. And I'm heading back without getting stuff in my shoe. I'm heading back to go get it. And it's an old school lure. Um, I think matter of fact, it's the first one that it was made the very first that was made i believe so i'm heading back to go get that it puts out a lot of flash so hopefully with that the only thing about that lure is all the grass that's around the uh the bank you have a hard time fishing that lure and I mean a hard time next to the bank because it's it's so marshy around the edge of the bank. The fishing is like off limits back at the main lake. So, so basically at the beach, off limits, but everything on this side and that side of the beach you can fish. Oh no, I'm actually from a, uh, do you know where Dublin is? Dublin, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in that area. Oh, I'm just trying to, well, YouTube, so I'm just 
traveling. Well, um, let him know. It's, it's some work. <laughs> it is some work being a YouTuber. Oh my gosh, I didn't, I did not know the work you had to put in to be, you know, what I'm saying to do this crap. Well, I ain't gonna call it crap, but you know, to do it, it is. There be times like I go out and I do maybe two to three videos. I don't go to sleep until probably about yeah. one, two o'clock in the morning. After editing. After editing and all that, mm -hmm. then get right back up at about five o'clock to do it again. Gosh. Do you have to do a video every day? Not every day you don't. I mean, Parker, go ahead and tell everybody your YouTube channel. Parker Hanchi. Parker Hanchi? All right. P A R, spit it for him. Parker Hanchi. <laughs> Y'all go subscribe to his channel. A little silver rattle trap to see if I can get a reaction bite. Uh -huh. And I'm going to slow it down with a little wacky rig to see what happens. Good luck out there. This tough behind grass. And I threw the bait off. Not only did I throw the bait off. Oh no, I, didn't, I still got the hook. Okay, I threw the bait off. I have really got to invest in some some wacky worm o-ring. Wait a minute. I got wacky worm baits in my pocket. I got the worms in my pocket. I got to invest in some o-rings though. I have to do that. Because um especially using the Gary Yamamoto baits, you throw them off easily. Very easy. And I think they walk, from what they told me, they walk. All behind this little fence here. There's little areas where people been fishing. Oh, this grass is just tearing my legs up. Got you. <laughs> I get you through there. Come here. There we go. <laughs> oh and your gullet hook now i can't get through there so i'm gonna have to toss them there we go yes we didn't get skunked for the day I, I have not had a video where i've been skunked yet i've not had one yet <laughs> Well, I did not know that this was here. Oh, mm, gotcha. <laughs> Little guy. And I got somebody else's line tangled up. Oh, there we go. It's off. Now I got to figure out, make sure I know what I did. Okay, there we go. So, that's number two for the day. Mm. There we go. There we go. Now we're starting to get some bites. So... I was headed towards the bridge and just so happened to come upon this lay down. And I said, you know what? This is just a little too juicy for me not to fish it. And thank goodness that I did. I mean, it wasn't no, it wasn't no don't, but still it was something worth it. Well, I got, I'll say about an hour or so of fishing in. Uh, that water was very clear, but, um, I did achieve one goal of mine for the New Year's. Like I said, I wanted to fish in the waters and travel around the fish. So I got to do that. Um, 
I might stay in the area for probably another day and fish some smaller ponds. That was actually the nicest size lake. But uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. And don't forget to comment on anything else that you would like to see. You can't catch them all. Veteran Bassin, love you out there. One.